nations, things are shaking in America, things are shaking in this land, things are shaking, and they're not going to be the same as they used to be. Things are going to change. Things are shaking in America, they're shaking in this land, and things are going to change. And my friends, and in that shaking, and in that tumult, when all the things are turned upside down, where are you going to be? How are you going to cope? The only way to cope is to rest in the Lord and to know his peace and joy and to know that he can forgive you, that he can be your savior today. Jesus knocks on the door of your heart. He's knocking at your door. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I love you. Let me in. And he knocks and he knocks and he knocks and you won't open that heart of yours. You, you won't open it because you say, no, I'm not a Bible basher. No, I don't want to believe because there's no evidence. And he knocks on your heart and he knocks on your heart and he wants to come in and he wants to fill you with his love and he wants to fill you with his joy. There is an old hymn that I love. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. Oh, my friends, the Prince of Glory died on that cross. The Prince of Glory gave his life for you. The Prince of Glory shed his blood. And there's another great hymn, Amazing Grace. Amen. Do you remember that old hymn? Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound to save a wretch like me. Amazing Grace. Do you know that man who wrote that hymn, Amazing Grace? He was a slave trader, John Newton. And one day, he became a slave. And when he became a slave, he realized being a slave owner was wrong. And he cried out to God and he was forgiven and he wrote that hymn, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound to save a wretch like me. Amen. And you know, that song is for you today. That 